Up we go. We can't raise the sail here. Sail! Catch the wind! Warriors! Bring it! When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtwes end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nokfal from Kurtwe. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid. For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. You know these isles best, Bukist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wish I could have taken you along on my travels. Stirpion did not trust fate with both our lives. You have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable.
Clan, you reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Yester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, Uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The Canny Wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kirtway's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Kirtway's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There will be no peace while Ketway lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Ketway broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Ketway and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstaldir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florli, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kurtvis' head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Harald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end.
I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere. I think there are some spots you missed. What are these men hunting for? My coat. Whoever finds it wins an evening of my company. Care to join them? I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere. I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. I think this is yours. Halt in your search. A winner and my comb have been found. Now, 
The price for finding my comb is some of my time. A walk in nature may be more, if that is where our conversation takes us. I see. Lead on. You are different than the kind my flight so fancy attract. Burdened, decorated, and... delicate. Delicate? And the others, they are like clubs. Blunt and ungainly. You are nimble. Like a knife. Are you so in need of suitors that any passing woodsman or viking I will do? I was married once. My old feet died five winters back. Ours was a perfect marriage. I do not need another. But am I to go the rest of my days without love or attention? I think not. And the comb? Could be a comb, could be a brooch, or an arm ring. So long as it's lost. ...and to be found by a helping hand. Any good tales come of this? Once, I thought the same man had stumbled across me three times. Gave me a fright. Turned out to be triplets. If this comb is worth nothing to you, what shall I do with it? You could keep it. Comb your hair. Or... ...I could comb it if you like. Comb my hair? Is that why those men scramble over each other? I could do more than comb your hair. Find all your nuts and snags and tame them, if you'd like. My shoulders are tense, and my hair is a tangle. I could use a softer touch for these kinks. Then let me. Mmm, delicate touch. Indelicate voice. This was fun, Eivor. Hold on to the comb, as a keepsake. Thank you, Vil. You tamed some knots I haven't been able to reach myself. There are none living here. Not now. But I have a better proposition than a rousing hunt. If you are a true Drenger, a warrior with honor running like sunlight in your veins, then you may help me fulfill my destiny. You are a long way from any warm hearth, warrior. Is this where you call home? My name is Eric Loyalskull. The great King Ragnar Lothbrok named me such. When we fought tearing up the fields of England, we built families, overthrew kingdoms, sailed mountains, fought for whole seasons. Now... Now he is gone. All of Norway laments the passing of King Ragnar. I cannot imagine the sorrow his warriors now feel. We are but six who remain, his most loyal Drengir. Yet without his guiding light, his strength and vision, we are lost. It was in this cavern 
as I knew my life was tied to Ragnar's. We were young, hunting a bear when we chanced upon this spot. He killed it with nothing but a knife, leapt on its back, held tight, writhing like a fly on a dragon. He stayed put, and it was done. Together we celebrated the kill, as if we had felled the beast together. That is when I knew I would live and die for this man. I did not die beside my lord in Ali's pit of snakes. But I can make amends. Fight me, warrior. Send me to meet him in Odin's hall. It is with great honor I will fight a true drinker. When you're ready. Very well. For Ragnar Lothbrok, the true king of Norway. For Ragnar, for glory. For the wandering ring gear do I raise my blade. Not now. You're a long way from any warm hearth, warrior. Is this where you call home? My name is Eric Loyalskull. The great King Ragnar Loth, we built families. All of Norway. We are but six. It was in this cavern. He killed it with nothing but an... I did not die. It is with great honor I will fight a true drinker. When you're ready. Very well. For Ragnar, for glory, for the wandering dream gear do I raise my blade. your corpse! Looking for bears. There are none. You are along with my name. We built all. We are. It was in. He killed it. I did not. It is with great honor I will fight a true drinker. For Ragnar, for glory, for the wandering green gear, do I raise my blade. <laughs> <laughs> 